In this video, we're going to discuss a workflow for how the siding and exterior trim was created for this model. And in this case, you'll see that the, uh, there's quite a bit of exterior trim going on. And then the siding itself, we have some shakes up here. We have some lap board siding here. And um, what we'll do is we'll look at just the siding alone, just a standalone imagery of, of uh, our scene that has just the siding in it. Now the, the siding itself was just simply creating faces on top of the sheeting here, cutting out for the windows, extruding it, and then assigning this material texture, uh, just one face of it with these particular textures. And then in Estimator, we're going to use the square footage of these faces combined to quantity takeoff for the shakes and for the lap siding. Now for the all this various trim that you're seeing here was generated using Profile Builder 2, uh, an amazing plugin by Dale Martins. And uh, this allowed me to create all these various um, profiles for the trim. Now, the workflow that I use is to actually group these layers because each of these has to be their own layer. And you'll see I've got some exterior finish and I have a variety of trim that we're using in here. I need these to be on their own separate layer so that I can get the lineal footage of them for the takeoff on my materials. However, I want to control the visibility of this entire uh, bit here, so I'm putting all that under exterior trim so that the visibility uh, can be controlled. So the way I'm doing that is actually grouping these profiles. It's a very simple workflow. If I was to click on one of those, hide rest of model, you can see I've got a variety of different trims in here. I have 5 quarter by 4 window trim. I've got 5 quarter by 4 and 5 quarter by 5 corner boards. I've got a 5 quarter by 10 band here. Around this deck I've got a 1 by 12. I've got some 1 by 8 risers. I've got 1 by 8 fascia. I have a 3 8 inch by 12 inch soffit. So it's a whole variety of, um, of different materials in there. But they are all within one group. So when you want to add a new piece you simply edit that group and draw the geometry so that when it's all said and done if we opened up estimator and then we just simply select everything in this scene and you can see we have a dollar amount if we were to look at a report we can see that we have the hardy shake panels we have the hardy lap siding we have all this variety of exterior trim that we use profile builder to to create and our total dollar and our cost estimate. So that's a little bit on how to use a workflow. Just remember to group these profiles and then you can control their overall visibility with their own layer, but then you can still get the lineal footage information and assign costs into your takeoff. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.